everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. I was excited by some fabric announcements that came out in January and February of this year. We featured those on our Microsoft Fabric PG update, our live stream here on the channel. They were also featured in the January and February blogs. Hint, one of those things is at the top of the screen here that may indicate what I'm gonna talk about. That's right, performance metrics, query insights, improvements. So what do we need to do? Well, first thing I wanna do is I wanna create an environment, right? So I'm gonna create a sample data warehouse. I'm gonna call it data DW. And when that is deploying, I wanna to touch on the two topics that I'm most excited to talk about. The first is Copilot for data warehouse chat and preview. So now we can open up that query window in our UI and we can use Copilot to generate some queries based off our natural query language. The second one is the enhanced, perform enhanced performance metrics and query insights. And we're gonna go over that here in detail. All right, you can see there my sample database is done. I have a set of tables now to work with. All right, so let's execute a query. We wanna use Copilot chat with our natural language to generate some results. It gives us a little bit of a warning there. Let's type in some natural language, right? I'm gonna ask it, what states are contained in my data and provide me number of weather events? And it generated to T-SQL. I'm gonna hit tab. It's gonna select that data after I hit run and you're gonna see that New York contains all my weather events. Let's generate another query. Let's ask it, what is the average temperature by state by month? Generated that query, I hit tab, I executed it. However, as you can see, my month name isn't quite sorted correctly. So let's use natural language to see if we can fix that. So let's type in order by and watch what happens here. It starts making recommendations. I'm gonna put in order month name by let's say month value. And let's see what happens when I do that. So by month value, there we go, typed it in and watch what happens. Copilot chat is gonna make a recommendation it's gonna give me this new order by statement. I'm gonna tab this out and I wanna run this. I wanna see if this gives me the result set that I'm looking for. Go ahead and run that and look at that magic, right? Our month name is now sorted in the correct order, January through December. All right, with these queries generated now with Copilot chat, I'm gonna go ahead and run these a couple of times because I wanna get some data executed against our data warehouse. So we use Copilot chat against our data warehouse to generate some queries, but now I wanna look and see what these queries did within my data warehouse. And we're gonna look at Query Insight. So we're gonna go here to execute request history under Query Insights. It's gonna give us this query here. It's gonna run it and you can see a ton of results, right? On the screen, there's a lot of information. Now, I'm gonna scroll over a little bit, blur some things out there, and you can see we have some of our new columns. But right now, for me, the UI isn't really user-friendly. It's a little bit frustrating, honestly, for me. I can't expand the columns. I can't easily copy and paste values from here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my connection string, and I'm gonna use SSMS to query this data, because I want, to be able to more easily look at these values within my query insights. So let's switch over to SSMS. All right, here you can see I'm connected to my data warehouse in SSMS, got all the same tables here. Now what I did is I took that query from that was generated for query insights within the UI. I pasted it in here in my query window. I put a couple extra, uh, I put a where value in there and an order by so I could get the data in a format I liked a little bit better. Let's go ahead and execute that. It gave us a result set. Now, the first column I wanna call out here, these aren't new, this isn't a new column, but the distributed statement ID. This is gonna be very important if you're looking for how much this query is costing with respect to capacity, you'll use that distributed statement ID to go over to capacity metrics and find out that information. But let's scroll all the way to the right because we're here to talk about the four new 
cool new columns, the improvements. We have the allocated CPU time. This shows us the total time of CPUs that was allocated for our query. The next one we have is data scanned remote storage. This shows us how much data was scanned or read from remote storage, one lake. Then we have our data scanned disk. This is going to show us how much data was scanned or read from local disk. And the final column that I'd like to discuss for the improved metrics is the data scanned memory MB. This shows how much data was scanned read from local disk. Data scanned from disk and memory together indicate how much data was read from cache. Okay, let's put it all together now. We first ran the query. It read our data from data scanned remote storage. The next three executions read from data scanned memory. So it was closer to our CPU. Now, when we're looking at performance of our queries, we can answer some questions. If somebody came in and asked us, well, it ran slow the first time, but the next three times it ran relatively quickly. You can see here the first time when it was reading data scanned from remote storage, it took about 3.5 seconds. Every time after that, it took 112 milliseconds or so. Another reason why I'm using SSMS is I'm showing here on the screen that for me, expanding and decreasing column sizes is a lot more flexible. Copying data for me is a lot more flexible in SSMS. I can easily take that, copy and paste that into a T-SQL formatter to make that more readable. January and February were chock full of updates when it came to Microsoft Fabric. We looked at two of those updates that enhanced our Fabric Data Warehouse. We looked at the Copilot Data Warehouse Chat that allows us to use natural language to do things like create queries. We also looked at the Query Insight performance enhancements for exec request histories where they added allocated CPU time, data scanned remote storage, data scanned memory, and data scanned disk, allowing us to dive into performance of our queries. Did you know about these Query Insight improvements that we had? Are you using them today? Are you using Copilot to make your life easier? Let us know in the comments down below in the video. And as always, be good to each other. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.